Welcome to our video about Congida auris and what you need to know about it. Symptoms and causes of Congida auris. If you have been told that you have candidiasis, you may be surprised to learn that you are not alone. Congida auris is a common ailment in patients with weakened immune systems. If you suspect that you have it, read on to find out the symptoms and how it spreads. You may be surprised at how easy it is to spread this fungus, as it is easily transferable from person to person. What is Congida auris? C. auris infection was first identified in 2009 in Japan. While it can occur in any region of the body, most cases occur in people who require prolonged or frequent medical attention. Because C. auris can cause invasive infections, people should wash their hands frequently and wear gloves while in healthcare facilities. This infection is often treated with a broad-spectrum antimicrobial agent. However, it can cause a wide range of other health problems, so it is important to keep in mind that you should always wash your hands before using public restrooms and sharing personal items. People with compromised immune systems are most at risk. This includes the elderly, those who are already ill, and newborns. In addition, antibiotics can suppress the immune system, which makes the body more susceptible to C. auris. Antibiotic use may also increase the risk of C. auris infection. But while C. auris infections are not life-threatening, they can make the patient's symptoms worse. Diagnosing C. auris is difficult without a laboratory test. The infection is treatable with antifungal medications, though many cases do not respond to medication. Some patients may need a high-dose regimen of multiple antifungal medications. If you suspect Congida auris, see a doctor as soon as possible. If you are diagnosed with Congida auris, you may also be prescribed antifungal medications to reduce the risk of further infection. Congida auris symptoms Those at risk for C. auris infections include people with compromised immune systems, people on strong antibiotics, and people who frequently visit care facilities. Healthy people rarely get this infection, but if you or a family member does, you should get tested for the infection. The good news is that there are several ways to prevent infection. Prevention includes following good hygiene and preventive measures. Infection prevention requires care in hospitals and care facilities. Good hygiene is essential for preventing C. auris infections. Careful hand washing, wearing a gown, and disinfecting tools are just a few of the preventive measures you can take to keep your infection at bay. In healthcare facilities, healthcare workers and visitors should also wear protective gear. As a result, they can avoid passing on C. auris to patients. The most important prevention measure is to keep your hands clean and avoid touching personal items. Other symptoms associated with C. auris include fever, chills, and loss of hearing. In severe cases, you may even experience coma and death. Diagnosing the infection is difficult without a culture of tissue fluids and blood. The CDC recommends lab tests to diagnose the infection. Your doctor will conduct these tests to determine whether you have the infection. However, this is not a surefire way to diagnose C. auris. About Congida auris. What is Congida auris? Congida auris is a fungus, a member of the genus Congida. It is one of the few species that causes candidiasis in humans. Generally, patients with weakened immune systems are prone to candidiasis. Learn more about this fungal infection and its symptoms. Listed below are some common symptoms and causes of candidiasis. While people who are healthy do not commonly develop C. auris infections, people who are ill with it may be at risk of contracting it. To reduce the risk of contracting this fungus, people should always wash their hands thoroughly. Hand washing is especially important for people who are responsible for caring for people with various illnesses, including those who are sick themselves. Whenever possible, use gloves when handling blood or body fluids. It is also a good idea to remind healthcare providers to clean their hands before touching a patient's mouth. As with many other nosocomial pathogens, C. auris is often acquired through contact with an infected person. In an outbreak, it is crucial to identify colonized patients and to screen their contacts. This is especially important during an outbreak, as the disease can spread quickly and easily between healthcare providers. Hygiene measures should be followed and appropriate antifungal treatments should be prescribed. But what if you have C. auris in your home? How Congida auris spreads? The most basic explanation of how C. auris spreads is via direct contact with the infected person's bodily fluids. 
While casual contact does not spread the infection, it can result in colonization and subsequent symptoms. Infections can also be spread through touch and touching surfaces, but this is not the usual method of transmission. The next step is to take precautions and treat the infection. Learn more about the symptoms of C. auris, including possible treatment. C. auris spreads through physical contact with infected people, contaminated surfaces, and equipment. It is also spread through contact with fomites shed by infected patients. Therefore, it is critical for healthcare workers to follow strict infection control practices. In addition to contact with contaminated people, surfaces, and equipment, C. auris can be transmitted through contaminated objects and person-to-person -person contact. Although the symptoms of C. auris infection vary from patient to patient, some are similar to other types of yeast. These symptoms may appear immediately or may develop later. In the latter case, treatment is more difficult and the infection may become life-threatening. A bloodstream infection caused by C. auris can be life-threatening, and intraoris can even result in death. Additionally, Acute C. auris infections are more difficult to cure than other congida infections. Congida auris diagnosis. In the case of a suspected C. auris infection, the doctor will probably perform a blood culture. A blood culture is a type of test that attempts to grow congida from a blood sample. This method is not always accurate, especially when the infection is very deep. Fortunately, there are now several methods that can help with the diagnosis, including a biopsy. The Malditoff MS test, which was approved by the FDA in 2018, can also help confirm a C. auris diagnosis. To confirm a C. auris diagnosis, healthcare facilities should implement proper infection control practices. In some cases, the infection can be transmitted from person to person, which is why good hygiene is essential. Nevertheless, the disease is rarely contagious unless the patient has been exposed to a C. auris infected patient. As a result, patients should be isolated as soon as possible. While a congida infection can be treated effectively with antifungal medicines, congida auris is not as easily curable. It has a high mortality rate and can result in invasive infection of the bloodstream or wound. People who have been colonized by congida auris are at risk of infection for life. It is best to seek medical attention if symptoms persist. This is an indicator of a serious infection. Congida auris treatment. A comprehensive treatment regimen is needed for C. auris, a type of congida albicans that can cause invasive infections. While this fungus is a relatively uncommon occurrence in healthy individuals, it can spread from person to person. It is therefore important to practice good hand hygiene in hospitals and healthcare facilities to prevent the spread of germs. The CDC recommends consulting with an infectious disease physician for the treatment of C. auris if symptoms do not occur. A clinical specimen is needed to diagnose C. auris infection. This specimen may be obtained from the armpit or groin and sent to a laboratory for culture. The laboratory will identify whether the fungus is present in the sample and report back to the treating doctor. The most effective treatment plan for congida auris will include the use of an antibiotic. In many cases, this form of treatment will last as long as the fungus remains at the infection site. Certain antifungal drugs can be effective in treating C. auris infections. However, this treatment requires positive identification of the strain infected and laboratory testing to determine its drug sensitivity. Moreover, antifungal drugs are not recommended for patients who do not have symptoms of the infection. Furthermore, they may increase the risk of acquiring an infection again. Therefore, patients should consider their individual medical condition before starting treatment. Risk and Prevention of Congida Auris In Switzerland, the infection of C. auris is rare, but it can occur. A recent case reported in the country and two more in Europe indicate that the risk for C. auris is quite high. Because C. auris is only detected after an invasive infection, healthcare providers must be prepared to handle the first cases of infection. A document produced by the Swissnoso provides information and guidance for infection prevention in healthcare settings. Regardless of the source of the infection, the risk of C. auris infection is high. However, infection with this fungus is rare in healthy individuals. You can help prevent the spread of this fungus by practicing infection prevention and proper hygiene. To prevent this invasive infection, you can perform prospective laboratory surveillance. The CDC website also has resources on C. auris. 
A recently discovered pathogen, Conjuda auris has been detected in hospitals and other healthcare settings throughout the world. The bacteria can cause severe illness and is resistant to common antifungal medications. Healthcare environments are a prime source for Conjuda auris, as the organism can live on surfaces and can spread between patients. In addition to patients in intensive care units, people who are already colonized with this fungus are also at risk. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if this was helpful.